First discovered in 1928, antibiotics are our first line of defence against bacterial infections. Like all living things, bacteria evolve. Some bacteria have evolved the ability to resist antibiotics. Antibiotic resistant bacteria, or superbugs as they're sometimes known, pose one of the greatest threats to human health worldwide. If the rise and spread of superbugs continue, our ability to treat common infections and perform simple procedures such as surgeries will become unsafe. I'm Garant Rogers, Professor at the Flinders University School of Medicine and Director of Microbiome and Host Health here at SAMRI. The South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute is at the forefront of medical research in South Australia and aims to fight disease to make a happier and healthier community. The GRACE study, funded by the National Health and Medical Research Institute's Medical Research Future Fund, aims to better understand the spread of superbugs within residential aged care. Residential aged care plays an essential role for caring for older people within our community. While antibiotic resistant bacteria can be found everywhere, they are a particular concern in residential aged care. Frailty and reduced immunity experienced by older people, coupled with high rates of antibiotic treatment and the potential for transfer between residents, are thought to all contribute to resistant bacteria. For the first time, the GRACE study will map the existence and transfer of all superbugs in aged care. This new insight will help us to improve facility management and treatment practices to help prevent the spread of harmful bacteria, ultimately improving the health of residents and the wider community. To carry out this research, we need to work with aged care providers and residents to collect a range of important healthcare information and microbiological samples. Any person living at a participating aged care facility is eligible to join the GRACE study once they or their guardian have provided informed consent. Only people who are very sick will not be approached to participate in this study. The two sites where the risk of carrying superbugs are the greatest are the upper respiratory tract and the intestinal tract. So that we can assess these sites, we will collect oropharyngeal swabs and stool samples from people who wish to participate in the study. Collection of oropharyngeal samples will involve the nurse using something like a cotton tip to swab the back of the throat. Stool samples will be collected in a small plastic container similar to those supplied by GPs for tests. We will also investigate what bacteria can be found in the environment to do this, we will swab surfaces within aged care facilities, including tables, rails, door handles and the floor. In addition to these samples, we also want to collect information about people's health and lifestyle. For example, what medications they take, what illnesses they have had or what type of food they eat. Analyzing different types of sample and information about participants will allow us to map where superbugs reside how they move between individuals and what the risk factors are for their carriage. This will allow us to develop better ways to prevent their spread and help to keep people safe. All participants' information will remain confidential. Only myself and members of my team will be able to access it and the findings of the study will not identify participants or participating institutions. If you would like more information, please visit our website or contact the study coordinator.